Hi everyone, this is Brandon from NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and today I'm going to talk to you about our water filtration activity. Earth's natural life support system provides the air we breathe, the water we drink, and other conditions that support life. Sometimes our Earth resources become polluted and require cleanup. These cleanups can be natural, like wetlands filtering water, or human-made, like soil washing technologies to clean up polluted ground. There's also a need for water filtration systems beyond Earth, like for astronauts on the International Space Station. The water recovery system provides clean water by reclaiming wastewater, including water from crew member urine, hand washing, and teeth brushing, then filtering it to reuse as clean water. By doing so, the system reduces how much water needs to be launched from Earth to support crew members on the ISS. It's that filtration that we're going to look at in our activity today. To begin, you'll need to gather some materials to act as your filter. You can try conducting your filtration using simple household items like cotton balls, maybe gravel from outside, or macaroni oval. When I'm building a water filter, I like to start by taking a water bottle and cutting it in half. As such, I have a portion that I'm going to put my materials that will act as my filter on the top, and then a vessel that will collect the hopefully clean filtered water below. I want to be able to keep my filter material in the top section, so I went to my first aid kit and grabbed a piece of gauze. Securing that with a rubber band will allow all of the material on the top to stay there and the water to be cleaned to permeate to the bottom. And just what will you be filtering? Well, that's up to you. You could start by taking some soil from outside and mixing that with water. Or if you're looking for a little bit more of a challenge, try adding vinegar or food coloring to see if that can be separated as well. Design your filter by layering or mixing the materials in the top bottle. Make a sketch of your design to improve it later. Be sure to document how much and which types of materials you've used as well. Pour your simulated wastewater into the top of your filter and observe the water that comes out. Try to gauge how effective your filter was by observing how much water was filtered, how clean the water is, and how long it took. Remember, even if it looks clean, you should never drink it because it may still contain pollutants that you can't see. For more details on this activity, visit this page or click the link in the description and check out the JPL Education website for more fun activities to try from home.